Hey guys, it is Chrissy K and I am back with my first hair video. So it has been a while since I've been on here. Really? Clearly it's been a while. I'm shutting off my lights and everything, but it's been a while. So if you have been following me for a while, you know I had short hair. I was doing the whole perm thing. Um, and then I started adding color. And then long story short, I ended up cutting off. I, mean, I ended up cutting off all my hair because it was all falling out because one, I didn't know how to take care of color. And two, um, it was just two different people working on my hair. I lost it all, right? So fast forward to now, I have been going natural. And so I've been laying there just picking it apart so it'd be easy to detangle. But I don't know if you can tell, but like I probably got about an inch of perm left. When I first cut it all off, I was still permanent because I didn't know how to operate without my hair being perm because my hair has been perm for like 10 years. Now I have pretty much grown it all out and I've been having to um, do like twist outs and mostly rods. Like everything is curly except for the last little inch. So today I am going to do, I'm not going to call it a big chop because I've already mostly chopped it, but I'm going to do like, I guess they call it like transitioning. I am going to use Design Essentials Co-Wash. Um, I'm gonna try this. I do use regular shampoo, I believe in both, but my hair is very dry, um, so moisture is key. And plus I have to wash my hair too because of for the color, like the reason why I lost this hair is because I didn't know how to take care of it. So I gotta do what I gotta do because I decided to still keep my color. After I co-wash, um, they have a moisturizing and detangling conditioner that I'm going to use next for the co-wash. I've tried another one by Curlsmith that I absolutely love. This is my first time trying this one. This one is about $10 less, so I want to see if it holds up because um, if I have to spend $24 for a co-wash, I would like not to, so we're just going to get started. I am going to take some water and saturate my hair to start this co-wash. It helps when you read the directions. So wet hair thoroughly, rub a liberal amount of almond and avocado nourishing co-wash between palms and distribute throughout the hair. Break product through the hair and massage and scalp and fingertips. Carefully detangle hair with a wide tooth comb. Rinse well. So I kind of detangle with my wet brush. I didn't think those things work for us, but they do. So that's what I use. It works, it's not broken. So I'm gonna do that. I will probably get around to the whole Denman brush situation, but I ain't got one of them right now. So at this point I'm working with what I got. My hair isn't fully saturated, I'm gonna add some more water. But I know with the Curlsmith one, like my curls curled up so well and they define it so good. And also with this natural hair thing, it takes a lot of product, so. I do feel like shit, some shampoo wasn't necessary to strip all of that product out. This thing is the truth. This combs are right through this little fro. Actually, you know what? People co-wash usually like twice, I think. I'm gonna do both of them. So I'm gonna like rinse this one out just cause I'm curious what the difference is. I'm gonna rinse this out one time and then I'm gonna come back with the other one. All right, so I am back and I'm gonna call wash one more time except I'm gonna use my Curlsmith Curl Quenching Conditioning Wash. Um, I just really like this one so I'm gonna do it again. So far, my hair feels soft but I'm just curious. No, the other one don't hit like this. The definition starts coming in, basically like immediately. And I'm gonna take my little wet brush. It's coming it through. I will say between this brush though and the design essentials, they both detangle really well. It runs right through the hair. I haven't combed my hair in a week, and this is all the hair that is in my brush so far. 
Apply a generous blob with this foamless co-wash into wet hair, massage into the scalp, and smooth through ends. Leave on for three minutes. Rinse and then reveal silky detangled curls. Take a little comb. Like, I don't know if you can see how when I comb through my hair, they're all curls except for right there on the end. So we are gonna cut them off today. I think, yeah, this brings out all the definition. Okay, this curl smith is definitely the one for definition. I can't say the other one was hidden like this. I guess the extra $10 makes a difference so i am gonna go wash this out of my hair and then i'm gonna apply design essentials moisturizing and detangling conditioner after this because like i said my hair is thirsty so hydration is key taking this detangling leave-in conditioner This is the wrong conditioner. Shit. Supposed to be taking these moisturizing conditioner. I guess it's gonna be extra conditioning in that quadrant right there. Like I said it out loud too. Like, bro. Okay. This one is extra thick. I can't even get it up the bottle. Like, there we go. See how it's like a whole different color? Like this is all thick and white. That's all sheer, which is cool because nobody really wants a cast. Curl definition is definitely coming out on this. Add a little bit more. Hydration is key. If you know me, you know that's my line for all things. And I'm usually not talking about hair. Rinse it out. I'm a chop off this extra hair that's not doing me no good and then I am going to uh, put on a hair mask so I'll be back after I rinse this out and then see what we got all right so where are my scissors at I don't know how I'm gonna do this we about to get to cutting this off This right here is straight, so we just gonna cut it off. Fuck it. Might not be all of it. I really should have had somebody help me do this, but we are here now. So actually, I guess I should work my way from the front. Last time I did my twist out, the parts that were straight, I should have just chopped them off then. It's way easier to see, but it's fine. See how I did? I'm gonna add some water. I'm gonna go to the bathroom so I can see real good so I can actually do this correctly and I'm gonna cut the rest of it off and I'm gonna be right back all right guys so I'm back I cut off most of it I'm not a professional so 
I'm sure it's gonna be something that I missed along the way, but right now I have nothing but water in my hair. And so, to just have this definition with water alone makes me so happy. And this wet brush be coming through in the clutch. Like, don't sleep on these. I feel like I might have left a little something somewhere, but like I said, not professional. So, just gonna properly hydrate my hair. Curls come through. Okay. I'm gonna apply this Diva Curl, melt in some moisture. Um, it's for a quick moisture bo boost. <laughs> apply after cleansing and let sit for three minutes, but I'm gonna let it sit for 15 to 20 minutes. And I'm gonna cover it with a plastic cap. I feel like this middle section of my hair always gets like overlooked. That's a really where I'm gonna apply it. You know what, as I'm putting this on there, I can see my little like flyaways, but it's not good because I'm just going to cut them off right now. So yeah, I'm pretty sure when I do my hair, my final wash will go. I'm going to be able to see what I forgot. That off too. I just kind of wanted to wait until I had enough hair before I just start cutting stuff off. I'm not playing, I want it gone. This uh, mask turned on this curl definition, so it's helping me with all the stuff I missed earlier. A little bit more water. My little cap on. When I come back, I'm gonna be rinsed out and ready to start styling this hair. So I am back, and I can still see a few little hairs now that it's all like washed. I don't know, I'm probably gonna be cutting these off for a while, but it looks way better than what it looked like before. And I am starving, y'all. It's like almost eight o'clock. Forgot to eat dinner. I ain't took nothing out. So unfortunately, fast food it is. I noticed from doing this, the middle of my head is pretty crappy. Like it doesn't hold moisture, it's pretty dry. So I'm gonna put in this Design Essentials leave-in conditioner and put more in accident put some in earlier. I'll take that and just rub it through. In the spirit of almonds, like I love everything almond. Avocado is now randomly like my newest obsession. Man, I remember when I was younger, I was so scared of this. It was like, no, don't cut it. Anyway, spray some of this Carol's Darter almond milk um it's a daily damage repair both of these are leave-ins so i have to go get me some food real quick got a rumbly in my little tummy Ooh, do you see that sticking up i promise you guys this looks so much better from earlier i'm gonna show y'all split screen i'm so happy to uh basically finally have my hair be all in texture because I used to walk around with heat damage not knowing what it was and not be wanting to cut it because I didn't want to cut my hair not knowing that my hair was damaged and I'm also going to put in um, this Mazzani oil for some moisture if I get the top off with all this moisture in my hands this is the 25 Miracle Nourishing Oil so take a few pumps spread that I need to put some of that in the middle. So this is for sure gonna be a wash and go. Why does it still go dry back here? Good grief. I have never used this much water doing my hair today as I did today. So this is new. I'm learning that my hair needs moisture. So I'm gonna put my little cappy cap on. And because 
I'm going out into the world. All right, let that moisture sit while I go get some food and eat, and then I'm gonna be back to finally like style my hair. 